And we are live. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. It is Erin Reed from Erin Makes, and welcome back to Card Making Wednesday. I have some fun cards from you to, to show you how to play with the idea of a love card or a Valentine's theme card with this brand new set from Prickly Pear Stamps. So welcome to the show. Let's get started. Some fun card making. Okay, so we have some awesome cards that we are going to do. Let me show you. This is the first one. And yes, it is very Valentine's themed right off the bat, but we're going to change the colors and the one that we're going to make together because my favorite color is blue. So we're going to alter this to go a little bit more on the blue side. And it just says love you. So that could be used for so many different things. It could just be a general card or it could have a lot of different meanings for it, right? Another one is we're going to do an anniversary card. This is so much fun. My parents' anniversary, they celebrated 52 years. And this is the color that they had for their wedding. I'm going to make one for my 22nd anniversary. That's the one we're going to do together. And then we're going to do another one. It's off to the side, but it's basically just like stay strong, be you. It's just an empowerment card, but it's all using the same stamp and die sets. So let me show you the stamp set first. This is an awesome stamp set. Look at this. It's got all these amazing, amazing, amazing words. It says love, love, love you. And then you've got your little hearts and they're just perfect for coloring in and playing and layering and having a ton of fun. I just love that. And then there is the dies that go along with it. So here we have the U die and I have this on my prickly pear uh, die holder because it's magnetic. The U, we're going to be die cutting together here shortly. And then there also is the heart. So you can die cut out the heart from there as well. All right. So let's jump in and go ahead and play Instagram. Get to see in the same view. If you're on YouTube or Facebook, we get to flip over and see a different angle and let's get all this stuff out of the way. And hello, Wendy. Hello, hello. Okay. So let's start off with the first card. We're going to be playing with this one and we're going to do a little bit of heat embossing. I love heat embossing. It's so much fun. We're going to be playing with, it's all over here. <laughs> Got to get all my supplies. I had everything just pushed off the desk here for a minute. So we're going to be playing with some wow heat embossing. So this is the wow heat embossing. And I'm just getting out a sheet of paper. As simple as that, right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to die cut out the word you because we have the word love, 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 right? And those are all stamped, which I've already stamped them. And then we have the word you. Now I already heat embossed in case something funky goes on, but we're going to die cut this out just out of white paper. So what plain old white paper right here. And that heat up, if we're going to die cut, did I say die cut? I think I said die cut. <laughs> I think I said the word die cut. Of course, I put my scissors away. And I'm just going to do a quick little trim right here. There we go. Little quick trim. And keep the scissors out because inevitably I'm going to use them. And then we're going to go ahead and die cut this out. Super simple. All right. So you could stamp it if you want to, but we're actually going to fill in the entire space with the embossing powder. So we don't need to stamp on it. We're going to do another one where we're going to stamp and die cut it out. We're going to alter the one that is the anniversary card. All right. So here is the word you. It is just white paper. I love using the Nina white cardstock white paper. It's perfect for this. And then I just pop this on just like that. Easy. Super easy. All right. Get out my white paper. This is just copy paper. I'm not worried about anything fancy on this. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. So I'm going to move this so I can see something. All right. So here I have, make sure it's facing me. And this is just going to be trash paper. Don't need to worry about it after the fact. We're going to get out our embossing pad. So here we have our wow embossing pad. And we're going to take it and flip it over and just use your fingers. Don't worry about the backside. It's going to get, we're not going to worry about it and then just stick it into the embossing powder and coat it really, really, really well. Now I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna take a glance. I've got a gap right there. Just look to see where it's not shiny. So if it doesn't look shiny, that means it doesn't have anything going on. It doesn't have any stuff on it, but we can fix if there's gaps. That's the beautiful thing about this. You can easily fix if there's gaps on here. All right, and as always, supply links are all listed down in the information section. Majority of the supplies we're using today including the embossing powder, all the stamps, the dyes, the, lots of the tools are all coming from Prickly Pear. So a link is in the information section if you're interested. This is one of the Seth Apter. I love this. This is Blue Moon. He has got some amazing colors. 
And this one's got some really gorgeous colors in it. So I'm just going to tap this on. It's hitting all these beautiful blue tones, which are my favorites. And it's got some grays in there. And give it a really, really good coat. This is all going to go back in the jar, whatever we don't use. Cap it so I don't mess it up and spill it everywhere because I have done that. <laughs> I've done that more times than I can stay. I mean, it's just, it's insane. Okay, I had my tweezers. There they are hiding under. I also have my little towel here just in case my fingers get sticky, right? All right, so now we're gonna gently pick, and yes, I'm gonna have a spot and that's okay. I'm just gonna pick one spot because we're gonna do this twice to make sure we don't have gaps. There we go, we'll just go right in the middle here. Tap, tap, tap. And see, there's already some spots right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It looks like it's got, I need to go further away so my camera doesn't, it's not quite as thick. We're gonna go over it again and give it a second coat. It's not a big deal. Push this away for now because I'm gonna reuse that. Get out your embossing tool, your heat tool. You wanna to use a pair of tweezers. These ones are ones that stay clamped so it doesn't lose grip even if I move away from it, which is nice. And then this is gonna get loud, I'm sorry. You're gonna see when it heat changes because it goes from one color to another. I'm not sure you're gonna hear me over all this, so we're gonna go ahead and do it. But let me know if you can hear me still. So as it's heat embossing, you're gonna be able to see that it does this kind of change of color and that's when you know it's set. So we're just heating it up, heating it up. Try not to get too close to my piece of paper. It's like it shifts, it's like magic when it heats. And I know where my tweezers are, it's not gonna heat. But that's why we're doing two passes. Try not to get my hand in there. You don't wanna get too close to your heat gun or heat tool. Let's be careful about the G word here. So you don't want to get too close to your heat tool. Oops, I just smeared it. So we're going to fix that too. All right, there we go. Got to let it heat for just a quick second. I can hear you. Yay, you can hear me over the heat. <laughs> it blows a lot. So I can never tell if you can really hear me or not. All right, so there we go. Oh, that got some gunk on it from the last one. Okay, I'm going to peel that off because that is not cool. I do have a better one. I have one that is all done. And so in case this one was a mess up, you never know on live TV. I was dealing with gold because I did the U after. So I got gold on here. So I'm just going to scrape this off and we're going to redo that. So this is the cool part is if you make a boo-boo, this is why lives are awesome because you can see how to fix the boo-boos, right? It had a little bit of the gold embossing powder left over. So I just scrape that off and now I can reheat. So obviously there's a gap here. You can't quite see the letters very well. And there's a couple, I smeared it before it dried. So we're going to fix this easy, easy and get out your embossing powder or your embossing ink again. <laughs> and this is a slow drying, which I love. So if you notice, I was kind of holding it and talking it. It's okay if you don't get to it right away. So I'm going in with the Y. The Y did not do a very good job. Why, oh why did you not do a very good job? Ah, okay, I'm gonna do where my little boo-boo was right there. I'm gonna get right where I had my other problem and everything else looks fine. So I've hit here, here, and then along the Y. So now I'm gonna hold my tweezer up here because that part is fine. And then I'm just going to come in and I'm gonna dab it on the powder I already have. Let me get this so you guys can see. It was really off screen right there. There, and really thick coat. See, it's so much better. Get right there on that one spot and then where I made the little smear and just kind of tap, and that looks a lot more coated. The bottom of that Y, I would do it again, but that's how you fix it in case you need to have some extra. And that's such a pretty color. It's like right up my alley. I love this color. And you can keep doing this over and over and over. I have a good one, so this will be the last one I do on this. I would normally go back and do the bottom of that Y, but I have a better one already. And you guys know like how to make it look good. So heating it again. See the color change and you can layer it. If there's nothing wrong with layering this. Just look for that color change. I'm gonna hit all, I'm gonna reheat the whole thing in case anything, ah, I just touched it with the heat. The heat tool touched it. It flared back on me as I was talking. But just go through, careful, it is hot. You don't wanna have you know, your hands getting too close to it. So just be careful with it. And there it is. All right, so my first one is a lot better. 
because I touched it with the tool. I'm talking, so I'm a little distracted while I'm doing it live. But this one is looking pretty good. Plus, this is already cooled off. It's dried. It's ready to go. So, But that's how you make this. Same thing. It's been a while since you see me live. Hello, hello. Hi, Karen. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm so glad you're back. Welcome, welcome. And everybody who's on Instagram and Facebook and everybody who's on, welcome, welcome. So look at that. I mean, they're just cool. And there's so many colors. There's a wide variety of colors. It actually comes as a set of three. And look at this really pretty teal. It's like an aqua color. And then this one is more like a sandy. It's got like some purpley colors to it. This comes as a set of three. They're really fun. But I was playing with the blues because that's the, the color scheme I was going with there. All right. So we're going to keep this one. And how do I put this back? All this is still good. So this is my little tidy tray I've had for forever. I find it a little bit cumbersome to work with, but it's great for when I'm doing this step. So I like just using a normal sheet of paper because it's flexible. And if there's extras like this right here, I don't want that. That's the stuff I, I scraped off. That's the gold. <laughs> I, I don't want the gold. <laughs> I mean, it could go in here. The cool thing about this color set and then just it bends and I can just dump it back in. If I have a little bit that doesn't make it, I'm not too worried. It's not like it's going to be the end of the world. But I like being able to fold a paper and put it in. And the cool thing about this embossing powder, sorry, I kind of lost track of my thought process, is there's lots of color tones in here. So if you get another color in there because it might have been attached to the paper, it's not going to mess it up too much. When you have just a singular color, like if you had just the white one, if you have a speck of another color, it's very, very obvious when you have it in there. So the multi-tone ones are pretty cool for that. Um, itching to get raised beds ready. Oh, getting all the stuff. We just had the craziest storm. Oh my goodness. People have been messaging me. So I'm just going to go out. Obviously if I'm live, we're doing okay. But yeah, we, I'm in Austin, Texas and we got nailed with the ice storm. I even put up like a little video on all my social media about how much ice was covering. It was beautiful, but so many trees broke just from the weight of the ice. It was insane. It was so crazy. So, but Things are looking way better now, but all of our streets, it's hilarious. You drive around the neighborhoods all over the place and anywhere that has really, really big trees, they all broke. And so now along the sidewalks next to the street, you know, like just right along the edge of the curbs is just these mounds of tree shrubs that people have been cleaning up and they just can't clear it fast enough. So we're, we're wondering, we have a bet in our house about how long it's going to take for everybody to clean up all of the debris left over from all the trees falling down. We're, we're taking bets on spring break, end of February, maybe end of March. Our, our spring break's middle of March, so who knows? But we're fine. We didn't lose power, but lots of our neighbors did. Um, but it was it was an adventure, and we were out of school. The kids only went to school on Monday, and then they were out for the rest of the week. So this is our first week back. It's like we had a weirdly really weird spring break in February. We seem to get really crazy weather in February. Whatever. <laughs> Good trees for, yes, we have lots of mulch, we've got lots of firewood, but there's just so much debris. Like we have a little chipper, but there's no way that we can fill it all up. I mean, it's just, that's a lot of work and there's a lot of, like it's it's all the length of my house piled up. The mound is from the ground up to here and it's at least 25 feet long in terms of how much tree debris and it's oak and it's elm trees, beautiful trees. Um, and, but yeah, it's just, there's just so much of it. So our city luckily does have a mulching system and they're going around and they're collecting it all and they're going to mulch it all. So that's how they, they use all of that mulch back into the cityscapes and the playgrounds, and things like that. So it'll go to good use. All right. Long story short, <laughs> let's flip over. So here is the original card and here is, now I'm looking, I can't tell which one, this one, this one's got, yeah, they both look good. I can't tell which one is that. <laughs> I don't know which one looks better. So here we go. We're going to go with that guy because I don't know. It doesn't matter. And then this is the base of my card. Now I have pulled out my Olo markers. If you guys have never seen these Olo markers, they're really cool. I'm using two, three different sets. For this one, I used three different. It actually is their February colors of the month from Olo. And Prickly Pear Stamps does have the Olo markers for sale. They're in kits. The cool thing about the markers is that you can split the barrel right down the middle and it's actually two separate markers. Mine happen to be both colors are the same, but the ones that are for sale in the store, one side is one color and the other side is another color. So one marker gets you two colors. 
So she's got a one where you get four markers, but eight colors total. And then there's another set that's got eight markers, but 16 colors total because each barrel on each side, it's not one color barrel, it's two. And there is probably three times the amount of ink as some of the other leading alcohol ink markers. So they're just really cool. It's a brand new marker that came on the stage. And this is their color of the month they have for February. And these were the colors of the month they had for January. And they're so pretty. And they're all, I'm going to do my little coloring chart thing. Anyway, they're cool markers. Let's play. All right. So these are the ones I used. What I did for this one is I picked the darkest color, which is the same thing I did here. I picked the darkest color for the word love. And so when I went in and I stamped it, I picked a design a plane and a design. And there's two designs and a plane. So I just went boom, 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 left a gap in here to put the word you. Therefore, it has this wonderful little gap right there. This one, I went with a gold, but this one, we're going to do that heat embossing. And so now we're just going to color it in. So I just put it in my Misty, set them both up. I made sure it was just wide enough to have a little bit of a border on my background of my card. Just like it's the easiest little border. And now we're going to color it in. All right. So darkest color I put there. In the January colors, there's also a lighter color and they have codes on them. So this one says B.5, the smaller the number, the darker the color, the higher the number, the lighter the color. The B obviously means blue. This one is a RG, so it's closer to like a brown, a taupe, and it's a five, so it's a darker color. And then these are all in the R or RV. So RV means a red violet or plain R. And again, the darker color, so 5.7, the 0.7 is a higher number. So they're just color stories. All right, so I'm gonna continue. I did the darkest color right here. I did the other light blue. And there's, if you notice on my barrels, you guys can see there's a dark and there's a light. The darker side means it's a chisel, to, sorry, a brush tip. And the lighter side, it's just a lighter, a little bit of a lighter gray. It's a chisel tip. So if you get the same size, both dark color, you're getting both brush tips. If you're getting the grayer side, you're getting both chisel tips, which is kind of cool, right? So to begin with, for these ones, I'm just going to go through. Oh, I'm already flipped. I'm already flipped. I'm just going to go through, make sure I'm on camera. There we go. And I'm just coloring it in with a lighter color. So this is just a really easy way. These are fun letters. I love all of them. Some of them are plain, some of them are filled in, so it's really easy for doodling. You could even go in and hand doodle with that stamp. And this is called the Love You stamp set. So you get three loves, so three stamps of love, and two stamps of you, and then a heart. And we're gonna be playing with them all. So these are all of the love stamps on this card. And then there's the dies that go with it. So that's what we die cut the word you out of, but we didn't stamp it, we just die cut it. And then we heat embossed it. Now I'm gonna go in and do this one. It's a really beautiful, easy pen to color with, which is nice. The brush is beautiful. And like I said, there are new markers on the scene called Olos. And when you're ready to refill them, you just pop out your brush, like the nib, and then you replace the barrel and then you just screw it back on. So you don't have to replace the entire pen. You only replace the side that's getting low on ink. And you can also replace it with a different color too. You don't have to do the same color. All right, red heart shaped face, red. Oh, <laughs> are these refillable? And can the tips be replaced? Yes, all of it's refillable. You get the new barrel, place the tip, but you can also get new tips. So they're very, very versatile markers. All right, we're gonna go back to the darker color. I'm gonna do this and we're gonna start adding some accents. So for this one, we're going to go in and we're just going to do the lines. So I'm just filling in the lines. So we're not really doing any blending on these, but these are alcohol based markers. So they totally can blend. But we're just kind of playing with the tones of the colors. This these stamps just lend to wanting to be doodled and filled in. So they're just they're just fun. It's almost like the easiest way to color because it's all given to you. Now I'm gonna go in with some of these flowers and just fill in the, this like a little spiral flower. Just fill in the spiral flower. Always do the lighter color first because you can color on top of the color and then the darker color is gonna layer on top and it kind of blends with the color below it. So it marries each other together. These ones are so tiny, I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> They're so tiny. And then just little bits, these little swirly flowers right here. They're so cute. And you could leave it plain. You could even go in and you could do like an ombre effect on these or you can doodle them in. 
I'm gonna go in with the taupey color now. Again, oh, that's the chisel. I always forget. <laughs> I'm playing with these. I'm just gonna add, just to add a fun color in here. Cause again, these are like Valentine's Day cards, but they're not. So it's using the stamps that say love you. So you're thinking Valentine's, but how can you change it up? So this could just be an anniversary card or something for your loved one that you just wanna have something. And now my dog is coming over going, but mommy, you're talking. Why aren't you talking to me? So just a little hint. These beautiful colors right here. Tying in some of these gorgeous darker tones. There we go. So blues and browns look really pretty together. Look at that. Just that little hint of that gray in there. Isn't that fun? It's just cool. Now we're going to come down here. Again, we're going to do just a couple of them. I'm going to, oops, see I did it again. I want the brush tip. And you can get some pretty fine details with the brush tip. So I'm just coming in and doing a little bit right here. And I think I'm gonna do the brown for the hearts. It's, and I'm, it's super simple. There we go. That's so tiny, I think I'm just gonna leave it alone. I did go in here, maybe I'll do it with the brown. My dog is now trying to get into my trash and moving my camera around because he just walked by the tripod. So sorry about that. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna come in with the brown. Maybe I'll do a little bit of both. I'll add a couple of the colors. So I'll hit a few of these little hearts. I'm just tapping my marker onto the heart. And then we're gonna come in here and do some of these hearts too. Just a few, I don't wanna go too crazy here. Just enough so it's like, oh, there's another color in there. Nothing like in your face about it. Now we're gonna go in with the darker blue again. And we're gonna hit some of those. So it's just another tone, just tap it. It's too hard to try and get in there and try to mimic the shape, but it's enough to fill it that it looks like it's filled. And then it looks like you've got little extra colors happening here. Do the same thing to a couple of hearts. I'm just tapping where there's a heart. There are these super, super tiny micro hearts on here. I mean, if you want to try and get in there and be like all into coloring those, by all means, I'm just hitting a couple of them. And I did the same thing over here. I did the two darker colors. So I'd start with the lighter one. Then I did the two darker colors. And that's where you're seeing some of the colors. The darkest color I filled in all the way. Easy, right? You could easily put a wedding ring in the two hearts. Yes, you could totally do that. I mean, there's so many fun ways that you can take the, the word love and the word love you. It doesn't have to be just for Valentine's Day, but it totally lends for Valentine's Day too. Change your colors and you have a whole different kind of card, right? Okay, now we're gonna take the word you. So this is our bluish tones. You could also put this in silver. You could heat emboss that in whatever colors black, have fun with it. Or you could also stamp it because remember this does have the stamps. So you could also stamp this in either block or some other really pretty, oops, that's really shiny, or some other really pretty design here, and then die cut it out and pop it up. So that's what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pop this up. Oh, one last thing, I'm gonna take the middle tone color because when I go in with my card base, and I had a card base, apparently I don't have a card base, so we're gonna make one. Oh, no, there it is. Here's my card base. Oh, wait, that might be too big. I don't know if that's the right, we're going to check, we're going to check, we're going to check. Here we go. Nope, that's five and a half. That's the right size. I was good. Oops, I got things falling. Things falling. Part of the, the rest of the cards that I was planning on doing for the rest, it fell. All right, so to fit the word love on here without being too squishy, I couldn't do my normal quarter of an inch down, so I only could do an eighth of an inch. And putting white on white, which is fine. Oh, this was supposed to be the craft paper. That's why I'm like, where's the white paper? It's not, it's craft. I wanted to add a different color base. And then it matches in with those brown tones, which would be just fine, but I feel like it needs a little extra. It needs something more. So we're gonna take the same marker and we're gonna use the middle tone. You could also do the darker tone. I didn't wanna do the brown on this. For this one, I used the middle tone color. We're gonna use the chisel tip side and we're just gonna run along the edge. It's almost like faking it, oops. I knew I was gonna do that. You guys see what I did? Ah, don't do what I just did. All that work, all that work. I didn't do it on that one. So we're just running along the edge. Don't make the boo-boo I made. And you're just adding that color layer. Sometimes when I'm talking and I'm thinking about, don't do it and then I do it, you know? So it just gives you that extra layer of color around the edge 
and it just gives that extra border. So it just amplifies the card a tiny bit with just a tiny bit of a marker, a little bit of a mixed media grungy look if you want to, however you want to say that. <laughs> you could do it a lot neater than I just did. I did it neater there. <laughs> Something about live though. <laughs> I can't always get it perfect when I'm live because I'm talking and I'm thinking like five other things and like looking at comments and my, my brain's going all over the place. Okay, so now we have our word love. I did not do a very good job of folding that card down. So there's the base. And then we're just going to pop up the word you, right? I love that gold on there, but I'm loving this blue. It's so pretty. I can't decide. So I just have, as I fling everything around, just some little pop-up dots. And again, all the supplies that we're working with today can be found over at Prickly Pear Stamps. They're all there. Oh, my hair falls out all the time. If I wear my hair back when I'm live, it looks like I'm bald because I always wear, I usually wear it up. Um, so I wear it down, but I'm at that point in my life where my hair does not want to stay on my head anymore. Anybody else? I know I've mentioned this a couple of times. I've gotten to the point where I've gotten Rogaine. Just like I'm tired of not having anywhere near as thick a hair as I used to. The joys of getting older funny when we were younger when I was younger I'd always just like be I, I didn't pay attention to when people would say something just because I'm like oh that seems so far away and then now that it's happening to me all these conversations kind of in the back of my head are kind of rising back up again and going oh I remember my mother saying something or my aunt saying something or whatever so anyway of course, my mom still has a beautiful head of hair. I don't know where I, how that happened to me. That was supposed to be inherited from your mother. <laughs> Whatever. It's just hair. Not a big deal. That's what wigs are for, right? If it gets that bad. Could be worse. Always could be worse. Could be way many other issues. All right. So I'm just peeling off all of the foam tape on here. If I'm complaining about having thinning hair, there could. that means life is pretty darn good. Favorite stamp sets of all time. It is an awesome stamp set, isn't it? All right. And then we're just going to offset this. I like putting it closer to the right-hand side. Therefore, it makes you read the word love first. And because we read, at least in the English language, um, not all language, most of the English, French, Spanish, <laughs> you read from right to left. So left to right, left to right. <laughs> so if we set this, the word you off to the right-hand side versus butting it up to the left, we're going to read the word love first and then hit you second. So there you go. <laughs> Long story short about how I just said that. So this is our first card. Fun layers. Again, if you didn't want to do the heat embossing and look, it just has this cool shine. This is so pretty. Um, and then this one, obviously the big shine on that one. You could also stamp that and die cut that up, or you could just stamp directly. There's enough room to fit all four letters and you don't have to. So it's not a raised, uh, element at all is purely a flat card and it could be a hundred percent coloring or however you want to do that. There's lots of fun ways to do that. Okay. Let's move on to our next card. All right. So this is my anniversary card. This is hitting what's called a mini slim line. When I first cut the card down, I cut it to be six inches. So six inches here. And then this is five and a half. So I screwed this up. It's supposed to be wider. I made it, I did the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> I folded it the wrong way. Oops. It's okay. So normally I would, I would have folded it this way so that the length of the card and I just folded it the wrong way and I did it for both. So whoopie do that way it would fit into an A2 size card. My bad. Either way, you could also do this as a six inch by six inch and fold it down. It's just a, a different take on a slimline card. It's just something fun. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to stamp one of the word loves. And I think I'm just going to do the bold words. I know. Nah, let's do one of the fun ones. So let's stamp that in here. I didn't do it for the original card, just to show you the difference. So what's the difference if you stamp it versus not stamp it? And this needs to come out because that's not what we're doing right now. That's for later. I had it all prepped for a later card. All right, so we're just gonna push this in here. There we go. And then we're gonna do the one with all the little hearts and stuff. And we're gonna do it in black. So this is from my wedding my wedding colors i actually had two colors so black and white and then i had a uh, like sapphire and then i had emerald green so we're going to use my little chucky tool again this awesome tool felt covered great little handle from prickly pear 
It's fantastic. All right, lift that up. We're gonna go in and we are going to stamp just in black. It's just to give a little bit of something on there. If you wanted to heat emboss this, you could too, or you can just stamp it. You could go in and stamp with white. I just wanted to have an extra little pop of black on here. You could stamp in silver. So there it is, just a little something, a little hint, not like super in your face. And I feel like that's a pretty good coverage. So I don't think I need to do anything else there. That looks pretty solid. And then I'm putting my stamp back on my stamp thing so I don't lose it. It's a big stamp though, so I wouldn't lose that one. There we go. And then before I lose my other stamp, I'm gonna stick this one on here. We'll talk about that guy in a little bit. We're not there yet. That's coming, that's coming. Let me put this in here so it doesn't get stuck somewhere else. Talk about the mats here in a minute. Because I just found the coolest thing ever. I don't even, it's in, it's in a bag somewhere. I'll have to talk about it when we get there. Okay, now we're going to die cut this. I'm getting ahead of myself. I love that the dies have the ability for you to see exactly where everything is going to go and to make sure it doesn't wiggle around. Use your washi tape. Washi tape is your friend. So line it up just like that. And I have a little extra on my fingers. So we're going to go there. Now we're going to die cut this out. Hello from California. Sorry, I'm just saying you guys are talking about Carla asked about everything about the Olo markers. Could they be replaced? Yes. So you can refill all of it. It's a little bit of a different system for refilling. You just get the whole barrel refilled, like you just get a new barrel, but you don't have to do the whole marker. You just do the one side that's low. So that simplifies matters quite a bit. All right, so here is the word love popped out. There we go. And it's just this little hint, little bit of a hint on there. We're gonna go in with a little bit of a gold marker and just hit some, kind of like I did with the last one. And so I don't lose my die. I'm gonna put this on my die saver. <laughs> and this is now garbage. You could also save the little hearts and you could replace the hearts if you want to. Our last card that I have off to the side here, we're going to be playing around with that concept of the little piece that's in the inside there. All right, so now let's pull all the pieces out. So it is coming up on my 22nd anniversary. So the colors I picked for all of this are all my anniversary colors. There is my tape. So I did lots of layers for this. I pulled the same blue, that sapphire blue, which is my anniversary color. That's going to go in the back. So we're going to stick that down first. There we go. Then, of course, most weddings, black and white, traditional black and white. Ours did. We had my white dress, husband, traditional black tux. So that's where the black and the white's coming from. So I'm just kind of tying in all the colors. And then we have our white. There we go. And for the white, I went down by an eighth of an inch, but then for the top and the bottom, I went, I went a little extra. So for the sides, I went down by an eighth of an inch, but from top and bottom, I went down by a fourth of an inch to give it even more of our separation there. Now, the boo I made on the first card, so this is my parents' card. They had burgundy colors. They had a January wedding, so they just celebrated their 52nd anniversary. We are, I'm at 22 in November. <laughs> Um, I forgot to do the heart, forgot to outlay. So for this one, I didn't stamp the word love. Instead, I just took the gold marker and I overlaid it. I would totally do mine in silver because silver is my color, not gold. But I don't have a silver marker and gold will look just as good. But I forgot to do the heart first. So there is a stamp that you could stamp and it's really pretty. Let me show you the stamp that comes in the set. There it is. And you could totally do that. I opted not to just because that was not what I wanted, not the look I wanted for this card, because I was putting the numbers inside the heart. Therefore, it turns into the year of the anniversary that you are. So since I'm 22, that's my 22. And then I have the word love. Now the heart's going to go down first. I'm just kind of placing everything where I want it. I need to make sure I leave enough room for the word for the number 22. And it's just like 22 years of love. And we are definitely a happy married couple would not imagine my life without my husband. And I saw somebody mention 41st anniversary. If you've been married, no matter how long it is, even if you're not, like how long have you been with your partner? I'd love to know. I'd love to know how long everybody has been. And if you're not, guess what? That's totally cool too. You do not have to be married to be happy. You, you can be totally single and happy. I just happened to be with the person and I found one and we're happy. But 
I know many of people that are happy by themselves. So don't feel like this is a, a must have kind of thing. You can also give these cards as a gift to somebody like to my parents that have their anniversary. All right, we are going to glue everything down with our Barely Art Precision Glue. It's got a couple of different tips on here. Again, you can get this over at Prickly Pear Stamps. It's great. The reason for the little uh, pin in there is it stops it from getting everywhere. So it also allow it to have a clean glue. It doesn't get stuck inside the barrel because you're allowing it to have no air. If you didn't have that little pin in there, then you would have some problems with air and it would not come freely. So when you're done using it, I'm gonna use it for the 22 here in a minute and then we'll put the, put the pin back in. All right, so now we're gonna put the word love on here, right there. I'm overlapping the heart just a tiny, tiny bit. There we go. And then now I'm gonna place my 22, 22. I feel like this works really good for a single or double digits. If you're a triple digit, I don't even know how you could be a triple digit anniversary person. The most I've seen, I think somebody's in there like they're they, like they hit in the hundreds. They're a hundred years old, therefore that's how many years. <laughs> but more power to you if you've been like number one that you've lived that long, and number two, gotta grab my sticky tool, and number two that uh, you're still married after all those years, and both of you have lived that long. That's awesome. Hopefully, it's a quality life. Ah, okay, that's not working. Just gonna use my hands. All right, just adding the number. So whenever you're doing this and you're adding layers, think about the colors that you can see. You wanna be able to see your colors. So that was part of the reason why I decided not to stamp on the heart because I knew I wanted my heart to be black and it wouldn't show up. And I wanted to not have a problem with um, the number sticking there. So I didn't wanna heat emboss and have that issue. All right, I'm officially done with my glue. So pin goes in the glue. Boom, and to make sure, make sure it goes all the way down and it just stops from the air from getting in there. And therefore you have glue ready to go when you are ready to go. It's an awesome little system. And it comes with a couple of different tips. Now, this one had the glue kind of sticking out and it has, if you guys can see the kind of the white space on here, there's a little bit of like seepage. I let it dry, you cannot see it at all. So it dries clear, even on the black, it dries clear, which is awesome. So don't worry about it being there. Now we're gonna add a little bit of some extra fun. I just have a Faber Castell Pit Artist pen, it's gold. So it's a metallic pen. And I liked, initially I did the dots in the gold and I was like, I don't like that. So I just did a straight line. It's just adding another layer. Let's see if I can do this. One line there. One line here. If I was better, I would do it all in one swoop, but my hand's not wanting to do that. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna come in and like on the flowers, I'm just gonna go, it's covering up the design a little bit, but it's just giving a little pop, just like to these little swirls, little swirl flowers. And then a little dots on some of the hearts, just a little something here, just to make them pop and shine. I mean, you've got the doodles, you might as well have fun with them. And I'm not even trying to fill in the hearts. Again, I'm just tapping my pen right on the edge just so that it doesn't look empty. So it almost looks like it's just a little bit of the corner of them. And then maybe just the center of the bows, a little shine just so it doesn't look naked compared to the other ones that have something. And then on here too, I'll just do a couple of the hearts just coming in. So the nice thing about having a darker color cardstock, so if you have a darker, the, the gold really does pop on there, or if you had a silver, the metallics. If you had a lighter color, you could definitely go in with any of the others. A black would pop really well, something like that. So it's just a little bit of something on there that just kind of makes it pop and shine. And the last thing is we're gonna come in, I keep, I'm using all different kinds of pens. This isn't aiding, this is a fine line drawing pen. And that's where I'm gonna do my little hash marks. So it's just another little layer. There's so many fun things that you can add to your cards just with markers and pens, and they're quick, easy doodles. They're not even fancy drawings. I am trying to learn how to draw better. So I have all these amazing books I've been getting that have been teaching me how to draw. And I, I like cutesy stuff, but it's like how to draw little kawaii shapes. So I've been practicing, I'm not there yet, but you only get better when you practice. And so, but these, I feel like I can do this. Doodles are easy, straight lines, and they don't have to be perfect. 
It's okay that they're kind of wonky. It makes it more personal. And it just adds that little extra something. Instead of looking so plain, add a line, add a doodle, add a little something to it. It's really cool. So that's my parents with their burgundy colors. And this one is mine with my sapphire. I could also do one that would have been the emerald color, which would look really pretty. But I went with the blue this time. So we had 52 in 22 years. <laughs> that's what we got. So we're one year behind the year that it says. <laughs> All right, so there is the second card that we did. If you were jumping in late, this was the first one. The replay will be available. We heat embossed the word you, and then we colored in the words love, love, love all the way through. And the last one is definitely an homage playing with that same stamp set again. This time, instead of using the stamp set, I purely just die cut out the words you. We're gonna do a square card this time. And we are going to stamp using a different stamp set completely. This one is called, which one's this called? Brighter Days. Sorry, I'm really off-centered here. Brighter Days is an awesome stamp set and it's got this beautiful backdrop of the, um, oh, guys help me my brain is like sorry it's, it's a desert sunset and you have all the beautiful prickly pears and the cacti there and then it's got wonderful sentiments so on this one we're going to use the word you are strong and we're going to emphasize the word you repeatedly in the back of the card so we're creating our own background with of the card with the die with the word you and i picked a four by four inch square because it'll fit perfectly with that word you. So if I was going to use the word love and have it be a background, you could pick like holding you close to my heart, or you could do a different sentiment, sending love. You could stamp any of the other sentiments and pick a different word like the word you. So the first step is we're going to stamp our sentiment on here. So let me get my thing straight and says you are strong. So this is an empowerment card. Again, using the same stamps and well, same dies. I'm not using that stamp, but we're going to make an empowerment card with it. And I picked, I always go for the blue colors. If you notice, like all the other colors I picked were all blues. And then I picked the burgundy color because, again, that's my parents' anniversary color. So that's where those came from. And I was like, I don't do warm color cards that often. So I was like, this card, we're going to go warm. We're going to do a different color all completely. And that looks like a hot mess. So I'm going to do that one again. I think I moved it as I was chatting. So we're just going to put a new one. Now, in case you're wondering what this is right here, this is a sticky mat. I actually took a Cricut mat and cut it into six sections. So this is sticky. I can actually, it's got the magnet on here, but it's sticky enough that it actually holds to my hand. So I can put a sheet of paper on here and it won't move around. And then I don't have to put my magnets on the paper. The magnets purely just go onto the sticky mat because it won't move, which is fabulous. My dog does not know what to do with himself. It was raining and I couldn't give him a walk before I went live. And now he is just like, mom, I am so bored. There we go. That looks way better. Okay. It just had a little bit of a funniness on the T and now it's looking good. Okay. We're going to pull this off. So now he's grabbing all things. He's grabbing my daughter's shoes. He's, <laughs> he's a retriever. So he's got a stuffy. He's got shoes. He's got a whole jam full of things in his repertoire of little pile, his collection of just off, off screen. So we have our heart. The heart came from the die set that matches. So we have in the die set that matches is the word love, the word you, and then also the heart. So we're going to center this right here. I could also stamp it, but I think it's going to make, I don't know, not the mood for the stamp design. I want the words to be the focal points. We're going to grab a little bit of some tape. And this is way too big to stick into my die cut machine. So we are going to trim that up. There we go. Die cut out our little heart. I already die cut all the words you. So those are done. I just wanted to show you the stamping. I love being able to put stamps inside of another thing. So in case I screw it up, I don't mess up the whole card. Because <laughs> inevitably I will do crap like that. And if you guys were here for another card where I, it wasn't dry and I smeared it, Ah, joys of lives. It's all good. All right. So there is that. Now card base. I have a, it's a four by eight. So this is four by eight going across. And then I went down by an eighth of an inch for the yellow. So this is down by an eighth and down by another eighth for the black. So just creating that little bit of a, a barrier where these are going to pop a whole lot better just to show you on black compared to than if they were on white. 
They just don't pop. I mean, they do pop. But I think they just look better on black personally. And that's just my take on that. So that's why I did that. You could totally go with white. Plus, I wanted to bring in a little bit of some of the color tones that are, sorry, doing this. I wanted to bring in the black because I stamped in black. So it's just kind of marrying the colors together. It's not throwing a whole other color in there for no reason. It's kind of tying it all together. There we go. We're going to put the heart in last. That goes off to the side. I'm going to put the, the yellow in the center because the background is the center. And we're going to do a little bit of a layer. There's a name for this where it goes, and you could do more than three. You could do four or five. You could have all kinds of fun. But there's a name for this, how it does this. And I forget what it's called, but it's just, it's a cool shape. I mean, you only have the cool die and it stays as one unit. It's not bits and pieces of letters. It's just fun. Just celebrated your 36th anniversary this last December. I love it. All right, grab the U. We're going to go in with our glue again and just a light. You guys ever heard the dot, dot, not a lot? This is where that goes into effect. You don't want to add too much glue. You don't want to have more glue. If you put too much glue, number one, you're going to get seepage. Number two, you want to have a thin layer because if you put too much glue, oops, forgot to put the sticker off of the back of that paper, then you're not going to get a decent stick from the paper to the paper. You're going to have this weird kind of bubble in the middle because you have too much glue. So when I was a kid, we were always taught dot, taught dot, dot, not a lot. <laughs> Anybody else get told that? And also make sure that you are gluing the right words up. But you could do any, I mean, you could do this as a whole rainbow. You could do this as pick any colors, schemes. You could just pick three random colors. It doesn't matter. Oh yeah, I'm going to use the heart for this. Now for this one, I was trying to decide, does it go right in the center? Do I do it off center? And I think I liked it right here. So it's not too on the nose. So you are strong, but I do feel like I want to add a little bit of a border around there. So yeah, I don't know. So initially I was like, it just, it looks a little plain. I feel like I need to add something to it. So we're going to grab, I'm trying to think if I have, this one's just not dark enough. I think, I don't know if the red, let me check the red. We're going to do a color match. Yeah, that would work. We're going to border it with the red. Okay. I'm not going to talk for a second, so don't screw this up. <laughs> All right. Normally I would talk while I'm doing this, but I don't want to mess up my heart. I'm being weird. All right. Almost done. Almost done. There. Now I'm going to go in with the brush tip on the other end and catch that little bit in the center. I feel it's pretty close to the color. Right in there. My hands are shaking because I'm nervous. I don't want to screw it up. There. I did it. I did it. <laughs> Do you guys see my hands wiggling all over the place? Oh, that was awful. <laughs> Hi, Joanne. First timer. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. So now I feel like it's not so blank. It's got a little bit of an extra. I didn't want to spend too much time coloring because I really just thought of that on the fly. I'm like, oh, let's add something to that one because I didn't finish my prototype. This is the prototype. And then we're going to go right here. If you went in the center, it would totally work. And you can definitely tell it says the word you over and over. And then it's repeated in the heart. You could also pop your heart up if you want to do a pop up on that. You could have all kinds of fun with that, however you want to do that. So it's just that you are, and then it repeats, you are strong. But you could have totally fun with that. There's so many fun stamps in here. Um, sending love. The words, I try to use the one that says you in there. So that was the one that really worked well. But if you did the word um, love, sending love, um, there was one in here. There was another one. Uh, oh, this one says holding you close in my heart. So that would work either way. Or if you have other sentiments, that works. But there's a lot of really good ones on there. So these were our cards for today. These are all from Prickly Pear Stamps. This one's using the embossing powder. So we did it in blue. And then I also did one in like the red colors, which is really pretty. So it kind of leans toward Valentine's Day, but it doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. And then these are the two little fun anniversary cards, just a different shape. 
I did three different shapes. We did our standard A2 size card, which is your four and a quarter by five and a half, a four by four square, and then a mini slim line that is six inches by three and a half inches or three and a quarter. I think that was three and a quarter inches. Just a little bit of fun shapes. Sometimes you can even alter the cards like I did for this one. So it would fit lengthwise. It would fit a whole lot better for the shape of the card. Therefore, you don't have all this weird space. So you can always play around with what your card looks like depending on the shape of the die. You don't have to fit in the same box of it must be this size or anything. You can totally alter that. So as always, links are down in the information section. You can find links to all of the stamps, the dies, the pens, the all the stuff. All the, all the supplies we use today, they're all linked down below. They are affiliate links which just means that if you click on them, it is no extra charge to you. It is just giving me a little bit of commission that allows me to create more fun videos for you guys. So I make you know 10% of whatever so the company pays me, not you guys. You guys get all the fun goodness and the prices that the companies decide. So, and if you're on Instagram, click on the link in my bio and there is a whole bunch of links to the different companies that are listed there. So lots of fun stuff coming up. I have some big announcements coming up really, really soon. I've already hinted about one of these already. I am going to be hosting a uh, in-person craft retreat uh, in August and it's going to be in Texas details. I'm just hashing out all the stuff, still figuring out all the little bits and pieces, but that will be announced very, very soon. hundred percent inclusive. You just have to get here. Everything is included. There is a ton of fun classes, lots of varieties of different things. All your meals are included, snacks, drinks, all that fun stuff. Uh, your lodging, everything is there. It's a nice, beautiful, small house, very intimate. We only can fit 12 people. So it'll be a first come, first serve. But there's a few spaces for just if you want to come for the day. So and it's over the course of a long weekend. And then another big announcement is happening tomorrow. It's another fun event. I've done this many times. Anyway, it's the card summit. It's a ton of fun. I'll be talking, talking about that tomorrow. It's a free event. So if you're all things card making, that is it. And then also, if you're interested in joining my card swap, my card swap is this, this theme is uh, April, sorry, not April, spring. Spring is the theme for the card swap. All the details are on my website. If you head to my website, erinremakes.com, up at the top, it says card swap. It has all the information there that you can read and see if you're interested in joining. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Happy to answer them. And thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate watching from Facebook and YouTube, but please don't forget to give a thumbs up hearts. If you're on Facebook, if you would want to send any of the stars my way or the super thanks or any of those fun things that helps me bring all these fun videos to you guys. Lots of cool inspiration. So have a wonderful day and cute cards. Love the mini slim line. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne. And welcome. I'm just over here reading your comments. Welcome to the live. Every Wednesday, 1 p.m. live, I will be back. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you guys, everybody, for being here.